Hello everyone, for today's video is I'm going to show you how to secure the diesel generator number 2. Diesel generator number 2 on board ships are most of the time running and from time to time needs a proper maintenance. So on this scenario is we need to secure the diesel generator number 2 to do a proper maintenance. And in order to do that is we need to disconnect the less essential loads disconnect diesel generator number two from the main bus bar and lastly is to isolate so as what you can see here as usual we have limited access on various systems and on the electric power plant we can notice that diesel generator number one and diesel generator number two is running on parallel so let's start the simulation i need to press shift f1 you will have 20 minutes to fulfill the assessment. We have 20 minutes. Click OK. And I will go to the diesel generator number 2. Change over the 3-way valve for the diesel oil in order to flash the system. And while flashing, we can go to the main switchboard feeders and try to disconnect the less essential load so that we will not have a preferential trip. So I will disconnect air condition, incineration plant, distiller plant. There is an alarm. Press Shift F12 to silent and click this button. Click the blinking alarm. Disconnect this. This. Accommodation, heating and cooking. So I think this is enough. I'll go back to DG2. So by the way, we need at least one minute of flashing as per the instruction. So it's already one minute passed. So we can now stop our diesel generator number two. So first is I'll go to the panel directory power chief generator control and unclick the priority and click the automa automatic disconnect the diesel generator number two from the main bus bar and slowly slowly the load from the dg2 will be transferred to dg1 DG2 is now disconnected so you can see here and also here so it's already disconnected there is an alarm acknowledge press shift F12 shift F12 to silent and We can now go to the diesel generator number two. So if there are alarms which are related to the breaker that has been switched off, you can just acknowledge. And uh, we need to put the engine control in local and click the stop button of the engine control. DG2 is now totally stopped. I will go back here on the electric power plant and make sure that the voltage controller is switched off. And then we can go back here. And now we have already disconnected the less essential load or equipments, disconnected the diesel generator number two from the main bus bar. And what we are going to do next is to isolate the lines on the DG number two. So I will going I'll going to start first in the fuel line. I'm going to close this valve 
this valve so if there are alarms click shift f12 acknowledge the blinking alarm close the tab and then after the fuel the air close this valve acknowledge the alarm after the fuel after the air i'll proceed to the lube oil so put the priming pump in manual open the drain close this valve and slowly slowly all the oil on the dg2 will be drained going to the sludge tank so acknowledge the alarm Press Shift F12 to silent. It's already totally drained. Stop the pump. Close the valve. And we need to make sure that the breaker of this priming pump is switched off. So we need to go here in the process directory, go to the emergency switchboard, and look for the DG2 lube oil priming pump. This one. So switch off the breaker. And let's go back here. The DG2. Fuel oil, air, lube oil is now isolated. We will now proceed on the cooling water. So I'm going to put the preheater on manual and switch it. Okay. After that, the seawater line, just need to close this valve, going to DG2, and that's it. So, as of now, we have already secured the diesel generator number 2. We have already secured the fuel, the air, the lube oil, the cooling water, and as well as the seawater making it ready for overhaul so that's it thanks for watching and see you in my next video thanks